Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the Be Positive, Stay Positive podcast. My name is Nat and I'm here for you. I am here for you as often as possible to hopefully cheer you up and give you those keys to the door that will unlock your happiness. And are we getting happy? This should be the happiest month of the year. So not everybody's happy. We're going to try to change that. Hey, if this is your first time here, welcome to the show. I'm glad you found it. Please share it. Get it out there. Let's share the positivity, especially in the month of December. Some people really need cheering up and maybe something you say or do or something I say can help them to have a really happy holiday this year. Uh, also, don't forget about my book, The Positive Perspective, available on Amazon. Or if you want to skip big tech, you can buy it directly from me or a personalized copy through the website, BePositivePodcast.com. A pop-up will come up and give you all those options that you want. And nothing better than getting something personalized, a unique personalized gift for Christmas, you know? That's kind of neat. I love uh, I love getting personalized things or things that people make for me. I love that. Don't forget about the text line, 304-506-3332. I want to hear from you. I want to hear what you guys are doing for the holidays something special what's that special gift what's the one thing you really want this christmas uh and you know what do you really want let me know what you really want i'm not i can't buy it for you but i just like to know what you really want for christmas (laughs) if there's something you want me to talk about you know where to go the website slash your story i'll talk about it and i'll give you a shout out i got a bunch of shout outs from the text line today uh i want to give a shout out to jeff moore asa Corey, Craig, Melissa, and Molly. Molly, I will get back to you with the price for the ornaments that I'm making, about 10 of them. And uh going to send those out to some family and friends and sell a few of them if you'd like to buy one. Um, I don't know how much they're going to be. i got to see how much shipping is going to cost, and then I'll let you know. <laughs> All right. But uh, I'll let you know this week. Uh, let's see. What am I going to talk about? Let's have a thought for the day. I haven't done that for quite a while. The thought for today is, is it time to pay it forward? Is it? Is it your, is it your turn? Is it your turn to pay it forward? Are you keeping track or are you just giving and giving? Uh, so I think it's time for everybody to pay it forward a little bit one way or the other. Maybe drop a couple of coins or a couple of bucks in the, the Santa ringing outside for the Salvation Army or go help somewhere. Where people are a little dis- disadvantaged and they don't have uh, the opportunity to have a good Christmas. Maybe you can help out or give some toys for tots or something like that. Do something this season just to give without expecting anything in return. Because the reward is the happiness that you will share. That you may never see, but you'll know it's there. Hey, that almost rhymed, didn't it? All right. All right. What am I going to talk about today? You know what? Um... I'm not going to talk about anything depressing, anything sad. I know I have some emails from people that uh, are uh, need to be discussed. Uh, I, I don't forget you. I keep them here, right here on my screen. But today I want to talk about something that I see people doing so often. And this is called Don't Ever Give Up. And you know, I see people give up on their dreams, give up on relationships, give up on their jobs, giving up on life. I mean, how many times have you seen somebody who's just like, yeah, they're just going through the motions waiting to die, waiting to to be finished with this thing called life and not really experiencing it the way we're supposed to. And to them, I say, don't ever give up. Because when you start giving up on your dreams, on your goals, on your desires, on yourself, on your life, when you give up, then there's really nothing left to live for. And you know... It happens all the time. People give up. No one talks to them about it. No one listens. And they feel like they have no worth on the planet and their their life is worthless. And some of them take their own lives. And it's sad. And especially right now around the holidays, um, if you're alone on the holidays here and you're feeling sad because you're alone, or maybe you just lost someone. I have some friends who have just passed away recently and some close friends that I've known for 40 years that are, are now gone just in this, in this month and the past month. I mean, the older you get, the more you lose friends and the more they, they move on to the next uh, period, the next phase of their existence, but they're not here. And that's the hardest part is for the people that are left behind. And so if you're alone for whatever reason, 
Maybe you had a breakup. Maybe you had someone pass away. Maybe you d- just live too far away from family. And in these tough times, you don't have the money to get home. Think about the happy times that you had with that person or with your family. Reminisce about those happy times in your mind. And don't be sad because you're not doing that this year. Don't be sad because you're alone. And if you are totally alone, then find somewhere or someone to share some happiness with. Maybe it's a friend. Maybe it's a colleague. Maybe it's volunteering somewhere to put some good back into the world. Because remember, I always talk about what we think about, we bring about. And if we continue to think sadness and we think of loss and we think of lack, then that's what we're going to get more of. So if you're dwelling on the fact that you're alone and you feel like you're all alone, you're going to feel more and more and more alone. And that's not a healthy thought. I mean, there's times we all need to be alone. There's times when I just... Just like to be alone and just, just sit there and just vegetate, man. You know, just think no thoughts. I mean, when, when I can clear my mind and have no thoughts in it, it's like a regular day. No, it's a, it's a time to where I can reflect on myself and actually rest my mind and rest my thoughts and quiet the voices and really appreciate this thing called life. Really appreciate this gift, this flash in the pan that we're experiencing right now. So this holiday, this Christmas, this Hanukkah, whatever holiday you're celebrating, I want you to think about all your blessings. I want you to think about all the good things that have come to you in your life. Now, not to forget the bad things. You think about those all the time. Think about all the good things that have come to you And all the happy times that you have had in the past with friends, family, and people that you love. And then I want you to open your eyes and realize that that's all still in existence. What do I mean by that? Well, I mean because there is no such thing as time. We made time up. In this physical world is the only place that time exists. In reality, it doesn't. Everything is happening simultaneously. Everything. So you're really not too far away and not too distant from all those great experiences that you've had because they're in your mind, they're in your memory, they're in your heart. And when you choose to reflect on them, sure, you might shed a tear when you think about the great Christmas you had with your dad 60 years ago, <laughs> 50 years ago, 40 years ago, uh, you know, and it's it's an emotional thing. And that's a human response. And that is fine. That's that's good because you're experiencing that emotion again. And you have the ability to control the way you feel about it whether you feel happy for the opportunity and the chance to have had that experience and to have, have experienced that happiness, or whether you choose to be pessimistic and negative about the fact that it was taken away from you and that you're now you're alone. So it's all in your perspective. So when you're trying to, you know, some people just try to get through the holidays to just get through it, you know, and, and, I say to you, don't just get through it. Enjoy it. Follow through with what you want and never give up. Never give up on yourself. So many times people give up on themselves, like I said earlier, and they give up on their chance for happiness because they have condemned themselves to living in the past, to dwelling on the past, to making everything from the past a negative experience. Because why was so-and-so taken away from me? Why did I lose my job? Why am I disabled? Why is this? And you feel that negativity when you should be, no matter what 
phase of life you're in, no matter what your physical condition is, no matter what your relationship status is, no matter what your family situation is, you get to experience life. And you get to choose how you feel about those experiences. It's 100% true. I've talked about it before on the show numerous times of how you can think about uh, some something sad, something that depresses you, and it can take you down into a very depressed state. On the contrary, you can think about something happy and some good times and bring you up into a happy state, into a positive wavelength of uh, happy positivity. You know, you can bring yourself up with your thoughts. So don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your thoughts. Don't just settle for saying, oh, that's just, that's life. That's just the way it is. You know, I'm going to have, uh, it's going to be a bad Christmas. I'm going to be broke. I can't afford to buy any gifts for anybody because uh, I'm so broken. My boss hasn't given me a raise. And, but think about this. It's not about spending money. The holidays are not about things. Sure, it's great to give a great gift to someone and to find that perfect gift or to get a, something from someone. And we always, everybody loves getting gifts. Most of us love giving gifts. And it's the thrill of being able to give gifts. But when you focus on the actual gift and you don't focus on the reason for giving, we all have, uh, everybody has their own opinion on what Christmas is about. Um, we know what uh, we're told and what we are taught growing up. Uh, we all have our different stories. Different cultures believe different things. But no matter what your beliefs are this holiday, I want you to remember to never give up on whatever it is you're thinking about or you want. And never give up on yourself. Never give up on your relationship. And, you know, and by never giving up, I don't mean staying and being abused. I mean, if, if that's the situation, you're not giving up. You're moving on. But if there's something that you want, that you love, that you a feeling that you want to have, an emotion that you want to feel, don't give up on it. Personally, I can make myself happy every single day. Sincerely happy. Because I know that the day, my days are numbered. Everybody's days are numbered. And it's proven every time I lose a close friend or lose a family member, the older you get, the, the closer you are to the end. It's a fact. And you have to face that. But that doesn't give you an excuse to give up on life. So I want you to think about all of your blessings, all of the good things that have come in your life, all of the things that have gotten you to where you are right now. And you'll come across some things in your life that you were determined to accomplish, that you were dead set on feeling a certain way about something and you did it. Maybe it's getting a job. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's getting out of a relationship. Maybe it's buying a car. Maybe it's just being happy for a whole day. And you, and you did it. That's because you never gave up. So this holiday season, I don't want you to give up on yourself. I don't want you to give up on anybody else. I want you to share this Christmas, the Christmas spirit, the holiday spirit, the happiness and the positivity that lives inside of all of us. It's there. I know it's in everybody. Because I've heard people say, man, I wish I wouldn't have said that or I wish I wouldn't have done that. Because some people call it a conscience. But it's there. And when you go against it, bad things happen. <laughs> so that's that, that's about all I have to say on the whole topic. And that's the way these shows go. I start talking, words come out, and then they stop. Right? So that's it. That's it. Uh, don't forget about the, sh- the book, uh, The Positive Perspective on Amazon or my website, BePositivePodcast.com. All the stuff is there. I want to hear from you. I want to hear your thoughts on what you think about this show. I want to see the pictures. You know what? Since I'm a huge Christmas guy, 
Mr. Christmas, they call me Clark Griswold at work. I want to see the pictures of your Christmas and your holiday decorations. Send them to me through the, through the text line, 304-506-3332. Show me your holiday spirit. And you know what? I'll send you a picture of mine too, all right? That's it. My name is Nat. This has been the Be Positive, Stay Positive podcast. I think we can all do a little bit better. I'll talk to you later.